Hi everyone and welcome back to Of Course Business English. Today we are going to talk about the present continuous tense. Now we get present continuous tense by using the auxiliary verb in the present simple form am, is, are. And we connect our auxiliary verb with our present participle verb. The present participle verb is your base verb like work plus ing. So it changes to working. I am auxiliary verb, present participle verb working. I am working. Now what you can note is it doesn't change in the third person, which is easier. I don't need to say workings or something like that. For example, I say she works for the present simple tense. So I need to add the S. But in present continuous tense, we just add ing for all situations. He is working, she is working, they are working, I am working. Today, I want to tell you more about the reasons why we use the present continuous tense. I also want to help you use it properly. So, the most basic rule for using the present continuous tense is when we are talking about something that is happening now or something that's not happening now. He is talking. She is not driving her car while she is talking on the phone. <sighs> so how can I properly use the present continuous tense? Let me tell you. Firstly, Never use the present continuous verb for non-continuous verbs. Mm, what's a non-continuous verb? They are verbs that don't talk about movement. It's a static verb, for example, like, hope, love. They are static verbs. You don't think of it as movement but you think of it as something that is a general state, right? So once again, a non-continuous verb is a static verb and static verbs are not about movement. We don't think about movement when we talk about them. They are non-continuous conditions, situations or states that you are in. So there are different forms of non-continuous verbs. We are going to take a look at these different forms and I'm going to give you some examples. So let's look at them. First, we get abstract verbs. Now they can be in different forms. For example, to be. I want to be an engineer. I don't say I want to being an engineer. Okay, you got that. So next, want. I want a new car, not I am wanting a new car. Need. I need a new laptop, not I'm needing a new laptop. Cost. The books cost a lot of money. Care. I care about my new job. I care about my family. Contain. This book contains a lot of information. Not this book is containing a lot of information. Because that's a static verb, right? It contains the information. It's not changing or progressing over time. Oh, I owe him money. So owe means it's something you need to give back to that person. Exist. Dinosaurs don't exist anymore, for those of you who don't know that. <laughs> the next one we are going to look at is possession verbs. 
I own a lot of books. Not I am owning a lot of books. This computer belongs to me. Belongs. It is mine. I don't say it is belonging to me because it's not changing. It is mine. It's a static verb. It belongs to me. He doesn't possess formal clothes. So the word possess, not possessing. So possess in this tense means he doesn't own formal clothes. Okay, number three, emotion verbs. Love. I love to drink coffee every morning. That's definitely true. So not I am loving to drink coffee every morning. Okay, I love. Number two, hate. I hate to work on the weekend. Sometimes I like it. Like, I like exercise, not I am liking exercise. Dislike, I dislike bad weather because that's a true state of mind, for example. Fear, I fear dogs. Envy, I envy him or I envy her. Next one is she needs help, right? So needs is also a non-continuous verb. Not she is needing help because her state is a state of need. He wants a break, not he is wanting a break. Okay, so remember these examples. Need, want, love, like, to be, I want to be a teacher. All of these are non-continuous verbs. So never use them in the present continuous tense. That's the first thing you need to remember. Now I have a lot more to tell you about the present continuous tense and I'm very excited to teach you. But we'll do that in the next video. Now the second rule that you are going to learn is to never use the present continuous tense for mixed verbs. We'll see what they mean in the next video. Come on, Manchester! Ooh, America's got talent. Good show, good show. Love me some talent. So you can go and like and subscribe. It's completely up to you. That's just if you want to make your life easier and more convenient. So you'll see when new videos pop up, it's completely your decision. You can also comment on this video or comment when you want me to post videos about something specific you would like to learn.